Happy New Year everyone, welcome back to the Team Hab channel. Today I am bringing you a new format of video that is going to be a, you know, a wrap up style video of 2022 for the team and our accomplishments and then about the channel. Since I already have the channel up, I'm going to just briefly say thank you for subscribing. We started off the year with less than 100 and now in 2023 we are above 300 i appreciate the support and we will be creating more content you know where to reach us we have our comment section below discord emails facebook twitter you name it you can probably find us there just definitely looking for some more feedback and i appreciate it but let's move on to the events excuse me so the first event I'm going to talk about is Clash of Nations. This is an event that is hosted by James. He has hosted them for a while now. He has redone the series for Clash. And this was his first one for Clash, which is Cater. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't much footage of this or photos of this event. But we all know he was there and topped. I do not believe a Team Ham ever topped this event, so I'll be moving on. Next event I want to talk about is the second clash, which was for Dark State, which Calvin ended up not only topping, but he ended up taking it, going undefeated with Barrow Magnus. Congratulations to Calvin and getting that nice little Dragon Shield trophy that Dragon Shield provided for the shop. Now, just so I'll give a quick shout out, uh, these clashes are held in Sugarland at a shop called Infinity. So if you're ever in that area, check it out. The next foot, which is the third event, Lyrical Monasterio. We had two team hand members in making it into top eight, which was myself and Deshaun. This event had a little bit of an issue because someone got disqualified, which allowed Sean, who was bubbled out at ninth, to make it in to top eight. But um, regardless of how that went, Deshaun ended up making second that day and I ended up getting fifth, but because of how invites are handed down from top four, if someone already has theirs, I managed to get my invite this day as well. Now this is the next one. This is Stokea's event. Uh, we had two team hand members top, which was Ronald and Tito. Congratulations to them for making it into top eight. Unfortunately, they are both eliminated in top eight. Then the next event, which was Dragon Empire, we had Ronald topping once again, but this time he secured his invite and he got in top four. Congratulations. And then for the last one, which was Brant Gate, unfortunately no team hand members topped, but Sam had ninth, so I'll give him an honorable mention here. Better luck next time, buddy. So this is the finale. This is happening this month in January as I'm recording this. This is a list of all the players who has the top four invites to attend. Can't wait to see y'all there. And this is what we are playing for. The next event I'm going to talk about is hosted by Deshaun. It's called Invasion. This one was called Team Invasion. This was held at another card shop, card, uh, game, another card shop called Game Guys, and we had one team top, which consisted of the other Sam. So we have two Sams on the team. So this is another Sam, and Jesse and James. Congratulations to them for making it into top tables. I believe they made top four that day. And then the next event hosted by Deshaun, this one was called Ham Invasion, which was th uh, themed around the reverse units. So all the Ham members had to play a reverse deck. So we ended up having three make it into top eight, all playing reverse decks. Sam, Ryan, and Ronald. Congratulations. And then the next event that happened was hosted by Antoine here and he hosted a race for the case. The first one was a team tourney, and then the next one was a singles event. So in the team tourney, we had multiple teams, but we ended up getting first and second place. So that was an amazing day for the team ham, securing first and second. 
So shout out to everyone involved. Uh, of course, Calvin, I, and James ended up getting first, and then Tito, Nilsson, and Raleigh got second. And then for the next event, which was the following day, was Antoine's single tourney event, where Sam and I ended up getting into top eight once again. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get the case. Me and Sam were both eliminated, and uh, it was unfortunate. This is the final event that happened last year in the Houston area, in Texas area, which was hosted in San Antonio, actually. This was held by another card, card shop called Shenanigans Gaming. Shout out to them. Uh, unfortunately, a full roster of Team Ham, Team 3 was not able to make it, but Will and Miguel needed a third, which were uh, other local players. So I was able to get in on their team, and we ended up getting fourth place, so I earned some honor for Team Ham. And then, I'm going to move into regionals. So Springfest, we didn't really travel. We don't see much value in the traveling for Springfest just because you're earning medals, not invites. So we generally just stick to attending our once regional of the year. And in this regional, we did pretty good. Um, for premium day one, me, Ronald, and Jesse ended up getting top eight and then ended up securing third. So amazing time for us. You know, unfortunately, we couldn't take the first. Shout out to everyone else who made top eight that day. Hello everyone, Kevin here with a quick edit. I realized when I was trying to upload the video that I left something extremely important out. So quick little splice here to fix that. Um, with Springfest, it wasn't just our team for premium that made top. We also had another team that topped in standard which consists of Ryan, Gloria, and Andrew. Congratulations to y'all for making it into top eight in the Houston Spring Fest. It was well earned, well fought. Congratulations to y'all. And then the next one I wanna bring up is Houston's World. So we don't play bro. We obviously like to play with physical product and we don't like the idea of playing online against someone. It's a lot more of a headache and we just would rather just play in person. So we skipped bro and went right into our worlds. So this is the first world we attended. This is actually the first world of the English format in the US. And um, excuse me. We're actually looking at three people here who made top. Uh, Jesse top day one premium and got top eight, but he was eliminated. Then we had day two with B premium to Sean who made top eight, but then he ended up winning it. So he actually lost one time the first round actually, and then went uh, undefeated for the rest of the tourney. And then Ronald who went undefeated the entire, the entire tourney. Congratulations to these three for not only these two securing their invites, but him for making the top eight. Well done. The next image here is actually of Chicago. So me, Calvin, and James decided to go to Chicago. Unfortunately for me and Calvin, we didn't do too well. We got close, but not close enough. But James, on the other hand, day one, went undefeated. What a champ, taking home another gold medal for the team. In the last event, this is actually an image of Cali. Um, me and my brother decided to go to Cali, and unfortunately for us, we ended up not getting an invite. It was fun. We met some more people there. Obviously, we would have preferred to have topped, but oh well. So that actually wraps up Team Ham's events this year. We have more events coming. We have a lot of events happening in January. It has been a pleasure. Catch y'all in the next video. All right, guys, y'all take care. Thank you again for watching. Yeah.